Hi, I'm Kevin Klein. This is my daily diary for Wednesday, October 18th. It was a, a busy day. Yesterday, I went out with another council colleague and uh, toured their ward and had a conversation about what they've accomplished during their term in council and what's important to their residents, as well as, you know, you know asking them questions about what they feel is uh, something essential that we have to work on as a, as a council. And I think it's really important to build those relationships and listen to everybody and, and start uh, you know, more team building. More team building has to happen at City Council because there are some councillors that feel they're not being heard and, and I think it's important that, that, that all people are heard and that it's, it's necessary for me uh, to learn from them and to uh, hear and to listen uh, to what they think will, it will make the city better and how we can work together in our specific wards. I think that's also very important. Um, I did get a reply finally back uh, exactly one week after I put it in on the trees. Uh, the questions, the three questions I had was, you know, some residents were asking for the trees so they could use them to build crafts or carvings uh, to recognize what had happened and, and, and to, uh, you know, maybe do some fundraising for a couple of local groups. The city said that there's no way to give them, that apparently there's some kind of law that with those trees they have to be mulched. Um, I'm looking into that further. I, I, I have to admit I'm not an expert on tree law, but I am going to look into that. They also said that they don't want to replace the trees maybe until next spring and maybe if the person pays for the damage. Well, there should be no maybe. Uh, the person should have to pay for the damage. And I've already offered to use ward funding to have the trees replaced as quickly as possible and then we can replenish that ward funding when we go after the organization to pay for the damages done. The other uh, question that I asked was, would they, would they work with my residential group, with the head of our forestry? Uh, the message that I got back was uh, that the manager of forestry would be uh, delighted to help. So I have to reach out to, uh, to her and uh, start that process with Charleswood residents. Another uh, issue that had come up was a, a gentleman who, uh, a lady, um, was waiting for a permit to replace her front steps. But because she's replacing them, with wood when she called to get a permit she said she needed a, a permit for a deck clearly what she was asking for was just to replace her front steps um, and now she's been waiting for months and months and getting all kinds of frustration from the city so i'm hoping to be able to help this woman she's not in our ward uh, but it just it devastates me that we we create so much trouble for residents when they're just looking for something simple and they need to replace something before the snow falls have yourself uh, a uh, have yourself a great evening and uh, we'll talk again tomorrow take care